tracking white quartz float today and this is an unusual color. On the slope in front of me is some green mineral. I don't even know what it is yet. What are you? <laughs> okay, so what the heck is this? Let's say I don't know anything about the bedrock geology. All I know is I found a blue mineral. The first step is a Google search for blue minerals that form in Colorado. I looked up pictures and think it could be one of these, but let's be sure with two tests. First test is hardness. Glass is about a hardness of a six. So if it scratches glass, then it must be harder than glass. It scratched it with ease, so we can mark barite, fluorite, and turquoise off the list. The next diagnostic is cleavage. Cleavage is the tendency of a mineral to break on a clean plane. This is amazonite, and we can see that it's breaking on one clean plane and two clean planes. So this is perfect cleavage in two directions. Aquamarine, on the other hand, has no cleavage. So we can see that this just looks like broken glass. There's no distinct planes of breakage. Fluorite has perfect cleavage in one direction, two direction, three, and four. And then we have a topaz crystal where across the base, we have one clean planar break. So perfect cleavage in one direction. Armed with that knowledge, looking at the sample collected in the field, there are no clean breaks here. These little impressions are just where crystals grew into it. So since it has no cleavage, the only mineral in the table that this could be is aquamarine. Aquamarine is just the gem variety of blue barrel. And since this is not gem grade, then this is blue barrel. Uh, okay, you know the drill. Scanning back and forth, tracking it to the origin. It's likely gonna be at the base of this outcrop.